Hello guys and welcome back again in the Solana dapp development course on dapp world until now we have discussed about the solana installed all the requirements on our system set up local environment for solana development and initiated the anchor project and discussed the project structure now in this part we will discuss the program structure and build our first solana program open the anchors project leap.rs file here you can see the code as follows Let's see what's happening here one by one. Here we are importing the tools provided by Anchor. In Rust, import is done using use keyword. Here we are declaring our program ID. But wait a second, have we already deployed the program? No. Then from where is this program ID is coming? Well, Anchor has generated a dummy program ID for now. When we will deploy the program, it will generate a new program ID. which can then be used here this line defines that the following particular model is what our program will look like mostly from this thing only we will define the public functions that can be fetched from the front end here pub means public and mod defines the rust modules that contains the collection of functions and variables it's kind of like classes in the object oriented languages and then the name of the program and lastly the initialize function which accepts context and returns the result right now this function is empty you will understand the syntax better when we move forward this is the line which is most interesting as well as confusing for the beginner the bottom line specifies the structure initialize but what is derived accounts well solana do not store the data in states like smart contracts in ethereum instead it saves the data in accounts we will discuss this in later parts of this course for now just remember this is the account which will store the data in the next part let's add some couple of lines of codes to build the first solana program see you in the next tutorial